Yeah, Laurel, authorities are identifying the suspect as 25-year-old Corn Kramer, although he was booked into the Multnomah County Jail on an assault charge under the name L. Baker because that is the name he gave authorities when he was arrested Tuesday morning. Regardless, news of this attack uh, just uh, shakes you uh, at your core. The details are uh, simply disturbing, and I can tell you that everyone we spoke to today thought so as well. Tuesday morning at the Cleveland Avenue Max stop in Gresham. A security guard patrols the platform just hours after an attack that's left riders in shock. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's weird what the world is coming to. I mean, people do bizarre things. Bizarre is one way to describe what happened here. Horrendous is another. Police say around 2.15 in the morning, they responded to reports of a man assaulting another man. Officers arrived to find the suspect on top of his victim, a 78-year-old man from Hillsboro. Investigators say the suspect had chewed off the victim's ear and chewed off some of his flesh to the point his skull was visible. That was here? I don't think I'm going to be coming here anymore. <laughs> That's kind of scary. It was, you know, uh, pretty bloody. Um, not something we officers or officers see every day. Jerem Swayze of the Gresham Police Department says officers quickly apprehended the suspect, identified as 25-year-old Corin Kramer. Police say Kramer recently moved to Portland from Georgia. Investigators are uh, looking into whether drugs played a factor into the suspect's actions, um, but we're not sure at this time. What we do know is that Tuesday morning's attack comes less than a week after a woman pushed a three-year-old girl onto the max tracks at the Gateway Transit Center. What people do is just, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's a shame that our city becoming what it is. The suspect in last week's assault and the suspect in Tuesday's attack are both off the streets. For that, TriMet riders are grateful, but they're still in disbelief. I mean, who would do such thing? We're human beings. I mean, I can't imagine people doing this kind of stuff, but it's a shame. That's all I can say. It's worth mentioning the victim is reportedly in stable condition and should be okay. That, of course, is good news. In the meantime, uh, we did reach out to TriMet for an interview. They told us nobody was available to go on camera, but they did release a statement saying that they value the safety of employees and riders above all, adding that the Max Blue Line was not running at the time of this attack, and it's unclear if the victim and suspect were even using the transit system.